Why Denmark is bigger than you ever imagined If you were to draw the map of Denmark, please do not be surprised if your geography teacher marks you wrong. The irony is that your teacher might not be more correct than you, even if the two of you have different maps of Denmark. Consider this also. How big do you think Denmark is? What is its population? All these questions may become the subject of interesting debates. The fact is, Denmark may be bigger than you ever imagined, and it may be more expansive and populous than you thought. This is what we shall be unraveling in this video, which will give you the reason why Denmark is bigger than conceived. Denmark as a country. We'll start with Denmark. When you hear the name Denmark, which geographic location usually comes to your mind? You'd be correct if you conceive an idea of a Nordic country in Northern Europe. Yes, this country is the southernmost of the Scandinavian countries, with its neighbors being Sweden in the southwest, Norway in the south, and it's in the north of Germany. If this is what you're referring to, you'd be drawing a map of the country consisting of the peninsula of Jutland, together with an archipelago of 443 islands. The largest of these islands are Zealand, Funen, and the North Jutlantic. The map may produce a country characterized by flat and arable land, sandy coasts, temperate climate, and low elevation. Covering a total area of 16,580 square miles, a whole 16,384 square miles of Denmark's area is land, while water covers only about 250 square miles. The country is the 130th largest in the world by land area. As of October 1st, 2022, Denmark had a population of 5.928 million. Of these, about 800,000 live in Copenhagen, the capital and largest city. Based on the understanding of population and demography, the country's population density is 357.5 per square mile. This country is a sprout on the skull of Germany on the very tip of continental Europe. Its population is just a tenth of Canada's and it has made a contribution to Western culture and civilization disproportionately larger than its population. As far as international affairs are concerned, this very small country is more influential than its size. If that's what you're thinking, yes, you know quite a lot. However, Denmark is bigger than you ever imagined. Did you know that your geography tutor might tell you that Denmark is really a vast country that comes in at number 12 on the list of biggest countries globally? Remember, we earlier said that both of you could be correct. How is this possible? The explanation for this is in the delineation of a territory vastly bigger than the contemporary country of Denmark. Kingdom of Denmark Denmark is a country in the Kingdom of Denmark. But it is not just a country, it is the most populous, most influential, most powerful and politically central constituent of the entity known as the Kingdom of Denmark. But what is the Kingdom of Denmark and how big is it? What are other constituents of the Kingdom? The territory called officially the Kingdom of Denmark is a sovereign state in partly Northern Europe and partly in Northern North America. Also known as the Danish realm, the kingdom consists of metropolitan Denmark, which is the kingdom's territory in the European continent, and it's sometimes called Denmark proper. The realm's other two autonomous countries are the Faroe Islands and Greenland. Thus, the kingdom of Denmark has three autonomous parts, which have been known as the unity of the realm based on their relationship with each other. The Kingdom of Denmark's Political Designation you would not be quite correct if you described the Kingdom of Denmark the same way you would describe the United Kingdom, or especially the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which are countries. This is because the Kingdom of Denmark is not a federation. It is a concept encompassing different three autonomous legal systems, similar to the realm of New Zealand. Denmark, the Faroe Islands and Greenland are united under the same monarch. The Kingdom of Denmark is a sovereign state with a unitary, not a federal system. Its territorial claims are in the Arctic Ocean. These are various sites near the North Pole, namely Lomonosov Ridge, Gakel Ridge, Alpha Mendeleev Ridge and the Kshuki Borderland. While the Kingdom of Denmark constitutionally encompasses the realm, the Faroe Islands and Greenland have extended degrees of autonomy to govern their relations. While the names Greenland and the Faroe Islands are not remote in the economic and political map and geography, only time will tell what the future holds regarding the autonomy or even complete independence of these constituents. Our search shows that not many people have yet understood the relationship being explained in this video. How is Denmark bigger than you might think? With this new idea, how large did you think Denmark would be? That would be the total of the three constituents. 
Do not forget, please, that we have given a breakdown of the country Denmark, the largest part of the region. Let us now do the same to the Faroe Islands and Greenland. The Faroe Islands Analyzed The Faroe Islands, also simply called the Faroes, are a North Atlantic Archipelago island country. As you may have deduced, they are a self-governing nation under the external sovereignty of the Kingdom of Denmark. They are located 200 miles north-northwest of Scotland. You would find them about halfway between Norway and Iceland, being 360 miles away from the former and 270 miles from the latter. The Faroe Islands united with Norway in about 1035 and became a part of the Kingdom of Norway. Meanwhile, from 1380, the Kingdom was in a personal union with Denmark. The Faroes' union with Norway lasted till January 14, 1814, when the Treaty of Kiel transferred Norway to Sweden. Denmark, on the other hand, held on to its Atlantic territories. This automatically placed the Faroe Islands and Greenland in the Kingdom of Denmark. Though the Faroe Islands are part of the Kingdom of Denmark, they have been self-governing since April 1, 1948. They are controlling most of their areas, while the military, defence, policing, justice, currency and foreign affairs have been in the control of the Kingdom. Based on their geographical location, the Faroe Islands can't be part of the same customs area as Denmark. While their home rule was effective in 1948, Faroe Islands' further autonomy was granted on July 29, 2005. They have their independent trade policy and can establish trade agreements with other states. For instance, they have an extensive bilateral free trade agreement with Iceland. In the Nordic Council, the Faroes are represented as part of the Danish delegation. They are allowed into certain sports federations and could field their own national teams. However, do not forget our point. How big is the Kingdom of Denmark? The Faroe Islands just discussed have a total area of 540 square miles, with a population of 54,000 as of June 2022. Please take note of this crucial data as we analyse the third constituent of the Kingdom. What about Greenland? Greenland is the largest island in the world and also the largest territory in the Kingdom of Denmark. It is actually the world's largest inhabited non-sovereign territory. This island country is interestingly in North America, having been located between the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans and in the east of the Canadian Arctic Archipelago. Greenlanders, or Greenlandic, as the citizens of the country are called, are all citizens of both Denmark and the European Union. Though on the continent of North America, Greenland has for more than a millennium been politically and culturally associated with Europe by virtue of its relationship with Norway and Denmark, its colonial powers. Greenland entered into a union with Norway in 1262. In 1721, it came under Danish-Norwegian recolonization. On January 14, 1814, there was the cession of this territory to Denmark. It has then since become part of the Kingdom of Denmark. It got its home rule on May 1, 1979. It gained further autonomy and self-rule on June 21, 2009. Unlike the Faroes, Greenland had been recognised alongside independent nations. Please note also another one of our crucial facts. Greenland has a total area of 836,330 square miles and a population of 56,466, according to the June 2020 estimate. With that population, it is the 210th most populous nation in the world. So, how big is Denmark? Is it not bigger than you thought? Based on the facts and figures about each constituent of the Kingdom of Denmark, it is the 12th largest in the world, with a total area of 857,183 square miles. Do the math and you would find that the country is even bigger than Germany, Turkey and France put together. What's your impression about the size and population of Denmark? Please let's have your frank opinion about this video in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.